Here we've got this bell-shaped curve. It, it just goes on and on till infinity. It's called the Witch of Agnesy. And we'll try to find its derivative. It will try to find the function of its slope. So y equals 8 over x squared plus 4. That's the function it's modeled after. So it's a question. 8 is being divided by x squared plus 4. So let's just write that down once to just make the point. So you have 8 being divided by x squared plus 4, this entire thing in the denominator. So x squared plus 4. Now you need to differentiate this. So we have dy over dx is equal to, first we just square the denominator, that's the algorithm in the question pool. So you have x squared plus 4 squared. Now let's move on to the denominator. In the denominator, you first write the, the denominator. In the numerator, you first write the denominator. Then you write the derivative of the numerator. So you will have d over dx of 8 minus, minus, now you just switch the roles. So you will now have d over dx of x squared plus 4, d over dx of x squared plus 4, multiplied multiplied by the numerator itself, so the number 8. And now you just need to work out the math. This entire thing is go going to be 0, since the derivative of a constant function is just 0, so this will just turn out to be 0, so this entire term vanishes. Here, the derivative of x squared plus 4, well, we know that the derivative of x squared is equal to 2x, so that just means that derivative of x squared plus 4 is also equal to 2x, since constants don't make a difference in figuring out the derivatives. And we just need to plug all these information in, and you will just get negative 16x divided by x squared plus 4, all of this squared, and this is the derivative function. A quick check, let's just plug in, let's just plug in x equals 0. If you plug in x equals 0, that is you are figuring out the derivative at x equals 0, you will have negative 16 times 0 divided by 0 squared plus 4 everything squared. This just comes out to be 0, and 0 it is. This here is a horizontal tangent. The slope here is equal to a zero, and so that just checks it for one point.